Good morning students. Welcome in video lecture of electronic devices and circuits. We are discussing unit number 3 electronic amplifiers and in previous lecture we discussed the um, feedback amplifier analysis uh, we can say that part 1 in that we discuss the uh, how the feedback amplifier analysis can be done and for that how which steps we have to follow and uh, how to consider the characteristics uh, evaluation that means analysis uh, that means uh, feedback gain uh, the uh, feedback uh, re input resistance output resistance with feedback that thing how we can analyze we can define one that steps we are discussed in previous lecture by considering the uh, input circuits and uh, by considering the uh, that means in that input circuits v naught is equal to zero like that we are considered one output circuit uh, that means by considering the uh, i is equal to zero that means input current is zero like that these uh, things are considered and uh, stepwise analysis it is how it is done one that point we discussed in the uh, feedback amplifier analysis topic and uh, in the part one topic and uh, uh, we also discussed the some sort of, or we did the analysis of the uh, current series and voltage series feedback amplifier and uh, by using these particular steps right these uh, steps that uh, uh, topology and uh, the uh, input circuit output circuit that things we considered uh, or these steps we followed by uh, one and by using that uh, equivalent model and all that thing we analyze the uh, voltage uh, sorry uh, feedback gain and input resistance with feedback output resistance with feedback that we are calculated uh, in this particular uh, in the previous lecture now in today's lecture again we are considering the next part of this particular feedback amplifier analysis and in that part we are going to discuss the um, uh, current shunt feedback and uh, voltage shunt feedback because in previous lecture we discussed the uh, current series uh, feedback and uh, voltage series feedback and uh, we are analyzing that particular using the uh, that particular uh, equivalent circuit okay that is Norton's as well as the Thevenin's and uh, we are used uh, some KCL KBL uh, laws and by using that laws we are calculated one here also we are going to follow that particular steps as well as uh, the that particular Thevenin and uh, Norton's equation equivalent models and by using the KCL KBL we can, uh, here we are going to calculate that particular relation of the or characteristics of that particular you can say that um, voltage uh, not voltage only uh, gain uh, of that particular feedback as well as that particular you can say that uh, input resistance with feedback output resistance with the feedback that we are going to here. Now, in current shunt feedback, see the uh, the particular transistor circuit it is considered one. In that cascaded transistor circuit it is considered one. And here, uh, the emitter of this particular cascaded uh, circuitry it is uh, considered with that particular feedback, or it is having the feedback circuitry emitter component of that particular circuit is here this particular transistor emitter and this particular transistor emitter is connected with the feedback uh, in that feedback with this input terminal and here r dash resistance it is considered for that particular feedback circuit now see here first in if you are considering the first step 
So V in one, it is the input voltage for this particular transistor. For the second one, V in two is the input for this particular second transistor. And here, whatever the R not F it is there, it is considered entirely to, to this particular circuitry. And uh, R dash I F it is considered for this particular input side, uh, for this particular first step to the input. Now we are going to analyze the exactly the how it will, it will you can say that gives the that particular relation for that output voltage uh, sorry output uh, along the output voltage we are uh, we can get the uh, considering the uh, equivalent circuit parameters input signal and output voltage and by using that parameters. We are calculate, going to calculate the that particular uh, gain of the feedback amplifier and input and output resistance of that particular feedback amplifier. Now, the voltage V I two is much larger than V I. That means as per the input voltage one. So because of this voltage gain of the Q one, right? That particular Q one gain you are getting one. Also, VI2 is the 180 out of phase with the VI as you are considering the VI as the input due to the emitter follower action. You are getting this particular thing. And V2 is only slightly smaller than V. Now, see here, uh, we are having the VI2 which is 180 degree out of phase with the VI. Right? And due to the emit emitter follower action, V2 is only slightly smaller than particular VI2. And uh, these voltage are in phase. These voltages are in phase V2 and VI2. Now, hence V2 is larger in magnitude than the VI1. See, VI is the input and is 180 out of phase with VI, and it is also 180 out of phase with the one. If the input signal increases so that is increases right so that is increases now if also increases uh, uh, here the ii I, I is equal to ii dash minus if now see here not it is if it is if if is also get increase if is equal to it is feedback current, it is get increased. Now, that means if the input signal increases, so that IS input, uh, so that means uh, this, whatever the input current we are considering through the RS, it is increases. And due to that, here IF, that means feedback current, is also increases. Now, I is equal to IS dash minus IF is the smaller than it would be if there will be no feedback. If suppose you are not considering the uh, there is no feedback, that means there is no any feedback you are considering one for that condition you are getting this particular thing. This action is the characteristics of the negative feedback and due to this you are getting the negative feedback. Now, Verify the type of the feedback, which type of the feedback is there, you have to verify. And here, because V2 is far far greater than VI1 and the neglecting the base current, so of that particular second transistor, okay, so as compared to the collector current, you are getting the IF is equal to VI1 minus V2 divided by R dash, which is giving the equation as the I0 plus IF upon R dash into R dash. So this equation it is getting for this particular input or feedback current, not moving the input, it is the feedback current. So feedback current, uh, it is again uh, considered as like by considering this, this particular relation. So IF is getting this particular beta into another, where beta is equal to this particular. Okay. Now, since the feedback current is a proportional to the output current, the circuit is the example of the current chain feedback. Right? It is proportional to the output current. So it is the shunt feedback amplifier. Current shunt feedback amplifier. So 
gain of the current with feedback it is calculated as i not upon is so it is giving the uh, this relation so aif is this uh, sensitized provi uh, provided by that rr and re are stable okay this is the decent uh, sensitized one and provided that r and re are stable here it is giving the stability for this particular r and r. so if we assume that r ri is equal to zero then this we are getting as the this is equal to is into rs that is equal to i dash upon r r r dash into r and the voltage gain of the feedback it is calculated by using this particular relation as avf is equal to v not upon ds which gives the by considering the all the other parameters finally we are getting with the this particular beta relation right so this is the now um uh, the amplifier without feedback the amplifier without feedback right if suppose the previous figure we are considered that here uh, the feedback it is considered uh, through this particular thing to this particular uh, the, uh, to this two transistor but in this circuitry if there is no any feedback it is considered one now how the amplification it is considered and how the beta values can be calculated one is see here the input current of the amplifier without feedback is obtained by opening the output loop opening the output loop at the emitter of this q2 right okay this replaces the r dash in series with the that particular re from the base of the emitter of q1 from the base of this particular emitter of q1 this places r r dash in parallel with re this places r dash in parallel with this particular r okay now the resultant equivalent circuit is it is uh, shown here and since the feedback signal is the current now here is the feedback signal current okay the source is represented by norton's equivalent circuit with the is is equal to vs upon here is is equal to vs upon rs right because this particular rs it is providing the this particular current relation so whatever the voltage across it is give providing the that now so ri it is input resistance hif is the that particular parameter and ri is the again second uh, here is the so the feedback signal it is is the current if now feedback signal is the current if if the resistance r dash which is the output which is is in the output resistors uh, output circuitry which is in the output circuitry v not right so beta value it is equal to i f upon i not that is equal to r e upon r dash plus r e r dash plus r e because of the parallel connection now here is the voltage and feedback the circuit shows a common emitter okay so these are the relation of this particular thing now uh, this is for that particular you can see that current shunt feedback now next one is the voltage shunt feedback here the circuit shows a common emitter stage with the r r dash connected from the output to the input r dash it is connected from the output to the input right so See here, Vs, IF, R dash it is connected for consider from this particular output to the input, and from that you are going to calculate the R dash not F, and that means or not R dash not of F that means output feedback resistance, input feedback resistance, right? So V in which is getting at the the in, uh, in between the base two emitted here. Remember this thing. Here R dash is the this particular feedback limit right now in this circuit the output voltage v not is much greater than the input voltage vi v not is the much greater okay and hence which gives the if is equal to by by considering the relation as pi 
minus v naught divided by r x, which is nearly equal to why? Because here v naught is greater one, so v naught due to that v naught here i f is the negative one, so minus v naught upon r x that is equal to beta v naught. So here beta is equal to one minus one upon r x. Since the feedback current is the proportional to the output voltage. This is proportional to the output voltage. This circuit is the an example of the voltage and feedback. This is the example of the voltage and feedback. So RMF is equal to V0 upon IS, which is nearly equal to 1 upon beta, that is equal to minus R dash. It is stable if R dash is the stable. It is stable, right? It is stable if the R dash is the stable. See, RMF is equal to this minus RF, which is stable. Okay, this RMF is stable if the R dash is the stable. In this case, we expect both the input and output resistance to be low. In this case, what we are expecting, input and output resistance are low because of the voltage shunt feedback. Because of the voltage shunt. Now, if R dash IF is equal to zero, the voltage gain with the feedback is AV. F is equal to V naught upon V S, which is equal to V naught upon I S into R S, which is nearly equal to or which is equal to minus R dash upon R S. Minus R dash upon R S. Now, next, the amplifier without feedback. The amplifier without the output circuit of the amplifier without feedback is obtained by shorting the output node V0 is equal to 0. This replaces the R dash from the base to emitter. It replaces the R dash from the base to emitter. In previous what happened from this to this that R dash was there. Now in this case this R dash it is connected to the collector point directly and output it is taken across this collector point. Right. Thus the connecting R dash from the collector to the emitter, the resultant equivalent circuit is we are getting here like this. Here uh, IF it is flowing through this particular R dash. R I is it, it is that means R I input resistance it is considered like this. Right, and R dash, well, it is considered like this here. So, here from this equation circuit, we are going to analyze the how the relation it is developed. Right, so here, since the feedback signal is the current, the source is represented by Norton's equivalent circuit, and that is IS from the Norton's equivalent. We are getting the uh, with considering that particular IS is equal to. Ps upon Rs. The feedback signal is the current IF in the resistance R, R dash which is in the output, which is in the output side. From the above figure, beta value it is obtained as IF upon V0 that is equal to minus 1 upon R dash. Here the assumption that no current is passed from the input to output through the beta network and E is not satisfied. That means IS is not. And IS not is here, is no, it is the IS is not satisfied. Okay. It is not is, it is the IS is not satisfied. Here, see, uh, it is by mistake, it is is here, it is printed one. So, type your. Hence, the assumption that there is a no current, that means there is no IS from the input to the output through beta network. So, IS is that means IS is not satisfied here. If the amplifier is deactivated by reducing HFE to zero, a current IF passes through the beta network. The resistance R dash, okay, from the input to output, it is considered one for this particular IF pass. This current is given by IF is equal to Vs upon 
right r s plus r s plus r c the output current i not with amplifier it is activated uh, activated is with amplifier activated that means output current i not with amplifier activated is i not is equal to v not upon r c so b a v f divided by uh, into r v s divided by r s it is nothing but the i not relation so i not is equal to like that this right here the condition that the forward transmission through the feedback network can be neglected one so mod of ic is far far greater than mod of ir or mod of avf is far far greater than rc upon rs plus r dash plus since the voltage gain is at least unity this we uh, equality is easily satisfied by the select rs plus r dash which is greater than rs so these are the some of the analysis which is done by considering the current shunt uh, amplifier and voltage shunt amplifier and from that we are calculated the relation of the that particular resistance as well as the gain of that particular circuit for that voltage is as well as the current relation so uh, uh, this is the second part of the feedback amplifier analysis right so students if you are having any doubts any queries related to this particular topic you can ask me any time uh, right and uh, study well and uh, stay safe okay so uh, and at the end of this particular uh, video lecture you have to solve the mcq okay which will help you to consider this particular uh, that is to get the idea about this mcq Uh, questions which is considered for this particular topic as well as it gives the attendance for the today's lecture right remember that thing so thank you guys study well